So in this quick Pygame tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to implement jumping into your Pygame game by creating this demo with Mario here. So when you press the spacebar, Mario is going to jump and because of gravity, he's going to come right back down. No matter how many times we do this, he's going to jump to the same height at the same velocity and then come down to the same spot. The assets and GitHub are in the link in the description and in the pinned comment, so let's get started. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be assuming that you already have your game and you just want to implement jumping into it. I'm in a similar position right here, so if I go ahead and run my code, I'm going to have this background with Mario right here. But if I press the spacebar, nothing is going to happen because I haven't implemented jumping yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if you take a look at our code right here, we have the X position and the Y position of Mario, which is 400 and 660 respectively. Before that though, we also have our clock, which regulates the FPS, and I've set the FPS of the game to be 60. You can obviously change this for your own game. Also here, we have two surfaces. One is the standing surface, and one is the jumping surface. So these two surfaces reference the images of Mario standing and Mario jumping. And we're going to put these two images on the screen depending on when we need to. So if we're standing, we're going to put the standing image. And if we're jumping, we're going to put the jumping image. We also have the background here, which is just this image that we're putting as the background. And we have Mario's rect, which is just a rect for our Mario, which controls the position of it. So in our game loop right here, we're just putting the background on the screen and then the standing surface of Mario. So the default one on the screen as well. So to implement jumping, we're going to create three variables. Up here, we're going to create them. The first one is going to be the gravity of our Mario. So we're going to say that the Y position's gravity is going to be equal to something like 1, just to start out with. Next, we're going to have our jump height, which is how high we want Mario to jump. And that's going to be 20. And we're going to have our Y velocity. So the speed at which Mario is jumping is going to be equal to jump height to start out with. We're also going to create a Boolean variable called jumping. And that's going to store whether or not we're jumping. And that's going to be false by default because to start out with, obviously, we're not jumping. Now we can go inside of our code and implement the jumping. So right here in the main game loop, we're going to check if we're pressing the space bar. And to do that, we're going to access all of the keys that are being pressed at one time. And then we're going to cycle through that and check if the space bar is being pressed. OK, so right here, let's create a new dictionary called keys pressed. And it will be equal to pygame.key.getPressed. That should be like that. So if you're unfamiliar with this, pygame.key.getPressed returns a dictionary of all of the keys that you can press and whether or not you're actually pressing them. So for example, if I was pressing A inside of this dictionary at the key A, we would have true. But for every other key, we would have false. And the same thing if I was pressing B, C, so on. Now that we have our dictionary, we can check if we're pressing the space bar. So right underneath here, we're going to say if keys pressed at the index pygame.k underscore space. So if we're pressing the space bar, then jumping will be equal to true. Now we can remove this line because we don't want to always be standing as Mario. And we can check if we're jumping. Now, if we are jumping, then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say that the Y position will minus equal the Y velocity. So for example, if the Y velocity was 20, then after this, our Y position would get subtracted by 20, and we would move up 20 pixels. If you didn't know, subtracting the Y position in Pygame actually moves it up the screen. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is try to repel ourselves down with the gravity. So the Y velocity will minus equal the Y gravity. And those are going to be the two fundamental forces here. Now, finally, we're going to check if we've finished our jump. So if Y velocity is less than negative jump height. So how this works is Y velocity is going to increase and increase and increase until it gets to the maximum point, And then it's going to start decreasing. And then it's going to keep decreasing until it gets to the negatives until it reaches negative jump height right here. So when it reaches that point, we're going to say that we're not jumping anymore because we've returned to the bottom. And we're going to revert Y velocity back to jump height. OK, and that's the basic logic done. Now we can update the Mario rect. So we can go up here and you would do the same thing for your sprite in your script, obviously. 
we can paste it in right here and fix the indentation should be there now since we're jumping we're going to say screen dot blit jumping surface so this image if you don't remember and we're going to put that on mario rect and then we're going to check if we're not jumping so else so if we're not jumping we're not going to do any of this code we're just going to copy this and paste it here and change this to standing surface. And even though this doesn't really do anything in the jumping logic, I'm going to change this to be jumping surface. So now we're done writing our code. So if we go ahead and run it, we should be able to jump. Now if we press the space bar, as you can see, Mario jumps and he jumps at the same spot. He jumps the same amount every single time and returns to the same spot. So now if we go ahead and change some of the variables here, we can see the effects. All right, so I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but with this code, you have to make sure that your gravity is not less than one tenth of your jump height. So right here, y gravity is equal to one, that's above 0.2, so it would work. But if we make this 0.1 and we run our code again, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go all the way up because the gravity is super low, but when it comes back down, it's gonna be a little bit above. So we see here, it's not directly on the ground, and if you kept doing that, it would just increase and increase and increase. Also, your gravity must be divisible by a jump height. So if we made this something like 0.5, then it would work because 0.5 can go into 20 cleanly. As you can see, it goes right back to the beginning. But if we made it something like 0.6, it would not work because 0.6 cannot go into 20 cleanly. So it goes a little bit above it. So yeah, that's a little asterisk with this code. But other than that, it should be fine. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you enjoyed it, consider liking. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. If you don't want to do either of those, happy coding. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good day.